in a business environment, it's essential to be able to back up your system on occasion so that you do not lose any important or crucial data. Now, of course, you can sort of solve this problem by having certain information saved directly to OneDrive in your file explorer. So if you're signed in using a Microsoft account, you can just save any of those files directly into OneDrive so that they're automatically backed up there. However, you may not want to do that or you may just want to back up the other files on your system on occasion. And there are different tools available in Windows 10 to help you to do this. So you have a couple of different tools. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of them. If we go down to the search bar here and we just type in recovery, you can see there are different recovery options here. So we can cr click on create a say yes to this prompt here. Now what this does is essentially gives you access to a different drive that you have uh, inserted or plugged into your system, be that a USB drive, a thumb drive, whatever it is, you'll obviously need to make sure that the storage is sufficient enough for your entire system. But this tool here will basically allow you to back up every single item that is currently on your hard drive so that you can restore that later on. Now, why might you want to do this? This is something that you would not do like on a daily basis, but it's something that you would do deliberately if you knew you were going to perhaps be upgrading your system uh, or swapping out a hard drive. Uh, those would be in instances where you would do a full image backup using this recovery feature. Now, this is a feature that does take quite a lot of time, so I won't go through the process of backing up my own hard drive here, but the tool is very easy to use. Um, it will just walk you through it. You basically select the drive that you want to save the backup to, and that's all that you have to do. And then when you come back after that has been completed, you can go ahead and install that recovery to your system. All right, so after you have created the system image, how do you go about restoring that on your new system or on your fresh system? Well, what you need to do is come into the update and security section of the settings application and then go to recovery. From here, you'll wanna go into the advanced startup. And what this is going to do is boot your PC into the BIOS. From there, you can choose to boot up Windows using a restore from a system image. So essentially, this is just gonna power down your PC, reboot it into a special menu that gives you just a few options. And uh, from there, you can choose to restore from a system image. All right, so after you have clicked on Advanced Startup, what you're going to see next is a screen something like this when Windows boots up again. So you have a lot of different options here. What you would ultimately want to do is go ahead and select this System Image Recovery. And then on the next screen, it's going to ask you to select the recovery drive. And from there, it's going to rest uh, restore your entire system. Now there's also something called a file history backup right here within Windows 10. So we can go into file history settings and you can see here under update and security, so let's go ahead and navigate there from the home, update and security, and then backup. So when you go in here, you can add a drive. So this says back up your files to another drive and restore them if the originals are lost, damaged, or deleted. So you can add a drive. This is the backup drive that I have connected to my system. I actually use it just to store videos and photos and things like that. So you'd go ahead and select it and then you can turn on automatically backup my files. Now if we go into more options here, we have some different options here. Now we can have it automatically backup files on a, you know, on an automatic basis here. So maybe daily would be a good time to do that. And then you can tell it how long you want to keep these backups. So if you have a very large drive, this is a one terabyte drive, I have a lot of space, so I could say I wanna keep those backups forever. Now, what drives or what folders are going to be saved? So you can manually come in here and select which folders you want to have saved to this backup drive on an automatic basis. If there are certain folders you don't care about, you can exclude them. By default, I think it just goes, goes ahead and uh, backs up everything. Now, if you have connected a new drive and you wanna use that for your backup instead, you can come down here and say, stop using drive, and then you'll be able to select a new one. 
And this is also another area you can access to restore the files from another backup. So if you come down here and click here, it's going to go ahead and search for the backup. Um, so you'll obviously need to have that hard drive connected and then it will be able to go ahead and restore that. And then in addition, I didn't cover this just a moment ago, but you could also come up here into the backup options under update and security, backup, and then more options. And you can manually do a backup from here. So this may be the easiest way to backup your system if you are about to do something and you're afraid you may lose your data. Now what this will do is it'll restore your hard drive back to the way that it was. Uh, your settings and things like that will not be restored though, just all of the files that are contained within these folders.